Okay, so let's talk about attraction marketing. I hope everyone has a paper and pen out so that you can take notes. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about this because if, if our business is through social media and we're posting on, on Instagram, we're posting on Facebook, and it's not working, then what are we doing wrong, right? How can we fix that? Because if that's, if that's our sole avenue, you know, we do some face-to-face, -face, we do some um, in-home parties, but if most of it's on social media, we have to understand how it works. And it can't just be by chance, and it can't just be by throwing out um, posts out there and hoping that they stick. So let's just dive right into it about your branding. And so your branding is really about you. Um, so here's five, five points about your branding. What posts do your customers like the most? Have you paid attention to your following on Facebook and um, kind of taken note of which ones do they like the most or comment the most on? And so we need to make a mental note of that so we can do more of that more often so that we can have that engagement. So for me, I know that I get a lot of engagement or a lot of likes if, if I'm talking about my, my, my kids and their accomplishments. Um, maybe when Dalton was racing um, his bikes, maybe on my husband's accomplishments. Um, I know that it's been when we've been on vacation or something like that, but it has nothing to do with the business. And so I want you to pay attention what does your audience like the most? Okay. Um, so that's number one. Do your posts align with your brand? And so your brand is really what, what's your heart and what's your soul with, um, with who you are as a person. So do your posts align with who you are? If people were to see your your post would they have an idea of who you are number three what makes your brand what makes you unique so again there's um, 12 of us on this meeting right now there's 13 of us on this meeting right now. what makes um, Leanne stand out among all of us we can't all be posting about our hair, skin, nails pictures. What makes her different? What makes people want to talk to Leanne versus myself? And so number three, what makes my brand unique? Four, are you consistent? And consistent is just posting and engaging on that social media platform, whether it be Instagram or um, Facebook, whatever you're on. Are you consistent? And number five, what's your big idea? Okay, what is your big idea? Um, are you there just to hope to, to get a sale and to fake relationships and hope that you can grow your business? Or why are you really on social media? So, so those are some things to think about for a minute. Um, but now we go into, okay, there's, there's more to all of that, but what, what speaks to you? Let's figure that out. And I know that, um, when we were doing our, um, business mindset trainings, Elisa had asked us to go to Pinterest and to collect things that grab our attention. And I want you to make sure that you are doing that, that you know what your brand, what your look is. And it's okay to use, um, like if you can really connect with posts from a certain leader, um, then use that idea to create your own. But I want you to be aware of what is your brand because I know that if I used um, someone else's posts that's not in conjunction with my brand does that make sense so I need to make sure that that when I am posting something it like speaks to my soul 
that it's something that isn't just me throwing up a post. It really is something that I care about. Um, and so when you are going on to Pinterest or Google and you're thinking about those things, colors and textures and ideas, they start to come to you and all of those combined, that is your visual brand. That is your color scheme. That is uh, the, the feeling that you want to give with everyone's, with your post that you do. So for me, I love like the diamond chandeliers. I love the soft pillows. I love the pinks and the golds. Um, and I wondered, oh, is it because it's trendy? And then I went to look at other colors. I'm like, no, it just, it just warms my soul. I just love it so much. And so when I'm trying to make selfies or pictures with my kids or other things, maybe it's filters that I'm using, I'm trying to use that same idea. Um, so be consistent with your filters, with your color palette, and with the feel that you're giving. I don't want this to get time consuming and cumbersome, but we are building a business and we are trying to attract others to us. So we need to invest a little bit of time into figuring out who we really are. Um, so then, so that's visual. And now our voice. When we speak what we're passionate about, that's when we are using our voice, using um, social media as a platform to share what we love, share what's important to us. And I want you to think about what is your voice, not it works, but what is your voice for social media? What do you want to tell everybody? Who are you and what do you have to offer other people? Um, so let's talk about that for a minute. Does anyone want to volunteer and share what their voice is, what they're going to use social media for, that platform, to try to help others or to try to give value to others? Kenneth? Hello? Kenneth? No, you can't. I will mute her. Um, does anyone want to share? So there was a long time that I'm like, I don't know what my voice is. And I had to really dive in and think about what is important to me. And I want, I want us to use this exercise to think about what's important to you. Um, so if we can take a minute to just write down words of things that are important to you, let's do that right now. Um, let's just give it a minute, just 60 seconds, and write just every word that comes to your mind, what's important. And it can be a feeling, a person, a thing. It can be whatever. So let's just take a minute and do that.
Okay. So let's have, um, I want whoever wants to share, I want you to share a little bit of your list. I'll share. Thank you. Um, I wrote down kids, honesty, friendship, family, organizing, being creative, such as like design wise and working out. Awesome. As far as I go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And I would say your Facebook shows that like I get that from you when, when I follow you on Facebook, um, it would be fun to see maybe a little more of your design, a little more of that creativity come through. Um, okay. To be a little more amplified in that. And maybe it's showing old, old creations, what your dreams are, what, what's coming up, what you're doing now. Like, and so you're able to share that a little bit more often. Okay. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay. Who else would like to share? I'll share. Okay, good. Um, so I've got um, self-care, growth, spiritual, belonging, inspiration, hope, love, relatable, blossom, family, freedom, development, serving, adventure. Awesome. And again, I see that when I go to your page. You don't just put up a selfie post. You have like and we're going to go over it later, but blog posts where you actually go into a story and you have feeling and you, you capture your audience with what you're writing. And so I, I can feel that. And, um, a lot of this is, are you being authentic to who you are? Are you showing that on, on your platforms? Um, let's have one other person share. And I'll just um, say what Leanne wrote. Um, Lila, her nieces, books and reading, vacations, travel, family, and organization. Um, so now, this is what's awesome because we're showing what's important to us. But part of it is what can we add value to to our audience to help them gain something from our posts. So from Leanne, organization, she can start doing an organization tip of the week and sharing her organization tips that people know they need to come to, to Leanne for organization. Um, they can go to Taz for self-care and how to be better at taking care of yourself and putting yourself first sometimes. And Callie for... Um, style and creations or um, for fitness like and so do you see you can start using that as what value you're offering to your audience so are we offering value right now and can we amplify I like to use that word often I don't want us to be in your face but I want us to amplify and use our voice a little bit more so that we can share with social media who you are and what you have to offer because um when you're using your voice you're developing yourself and speaking what you're passionate about and that can include your talents and your hobbies the company culture the way our company cares about one another the the way that they give back um, but you need to make your audience important to you. They need to feel important. So how can you involve your audience, which does mean giving them that value instead of it just being about us? Me, 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 me. I'm going to post another selfie about me. And now it's my son. Now it's this. But I need to offer something to them. But we have to be authentic. And so when we're making a list of what we're truly passionate about, we become authentic to ourselves and then offering that as, as um, publicly on social media. So we need to be consistent again with our posts. You know, don't, um, we don't have to talk about um, a certain list and how it goes in order, but try to be consistent with organization posts or the self care posts or um, the, the, exercise and fitness posts 
that way they, they see it frequently and, and you're on their brain. They, they think of you all the time. But no negativity, none. Because here you are uplifting others and then you rant about something, it all of a sudden is just, it's just not rubbing right. It's just not rubbing right. So just leave the negativity off. Um, so there's three V's. It was your visual, your voice, and the value. But be authentic and be active. Engaging. Show your expertise and show leadership. And what I mean by leadership is, if, are you taking charge and are you leading and are you seeking to be someone that someone looks up to? Are you being um, someone where they um, are, are coming to you for advice because clearly you're doing something that they, that they want to come to your page to look at? Or is Colette only just sharing posts? all day long. I share, I share, I share. How, how easy is it to just share something over and over again? And you see that where if you're engaging with someone and you go to their page and all you see are all these share things, who are they? I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about. And so because we're all unique women, we're standing out and we are all leading and creating this movement on social media about positivity, about hope, about dreams, about helping one another. I mean, isn't this awesome? I love it. Um, use your bio. So use your bio. After we're off, I want you to go to your Facebook and look at your bio and make sure that it truly says who you are. What are you about? And I know that we worked on it with Instagram a little bit, but condense it so that you can put in there what you're about, where people want to follow you because I am a foodie. I love to travel. I love my kids. Um, I love all things sparkly. I love shopping and getting a good bargain. And so they're going to come to me for recipes. They're going to come to me for travel advice. But if we leave it blank, it's, you just want to fill it and add emoticons and make it look fun so that they know what to come to you for. Um, another thing that we can do is promote. Follow me. Hey, I've got an Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram at such and such. Or if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, follow me on my Facebook at this or follow me on Snapchat. So use that a little bit more to share your other platforms so that you can get a more following on all areas. But when we're talking about social media and we're talking about how we can create our brand and this law of attraction, um, this attraction marketing, this isn't just a one-way conversation. We're just not having a conversation with ourselves. We have to have conversations with others. And that's why engaging is very, very important. Otherwise, people are going to stop coming to your page because you're not reaching back out to them. So engaging is one of the most important things that you can do on all platforms of social media. Um, so attraction marketing is not about the products, it is about you. And if we're super addy, super salesy on Facebook or Instagram, it's going to turn people off. It truly is about building those relationships and having something of other value that they're coming to your page for that when you do post about hair, skin, nails, or you post about confianza, they're going to say, oh my gosh, I trust her. I like her. I want to find out more about what she has to say about this, or I need that. So we have to kind of, yes, this is a business and yes, we have business goals, but we have to put our audience first in front of us. And so be real and be yourself. Don't be afraid to hop on sometimes and show the chaos. It doesn't have to always be pretty. We can show our crazy, messy kitchen and be like, oh my gosh, this is that day. 
my kitchen is crazy and people will be like, oh my gosh. So I think there was one time I posted, because I like to post recipes and I post pictures of my kids or whatever. And I think I posted something about, you know what, my kids aren't bathed. We ordered pizza for dinner. My house is trashed. And I had people commenting on that post like, oh my gosh, me too. Just, it doesn't always have to be perfect. Just be real sometimes, you know? Um, so I want us to think about something. So here we are all in this group together. We are not in competition with one another. And I'm going to tell you why. If every one of us walked into a mall or shopping somewhere and there was this group of 20 people. Okay, let's all pretend that we're all single. Okay. <laughs> and there's 20 men. <laughs> Megan's your single. <laughs> there's 20 men. Are we all going to be attracted to the same guy? No. Is that one guy all going to be attracted to each one of us? No. So don't be afraid that um, we're not attracting every single person. It's not, it's not going to happen. You're not going to attract everybody. And so just be you and the right people that love your personality that love what you stand for are going to be attracted to you. And that's fine. We don't have to, we don't have to worry about pleasing everybody or um, they weren't interested in our products. It's okay. There's like billions of people on this earth and we'll find another one. It's fine. Um, so be real, give value. So let's talk about that a little bit deeper. So we're in attraction marketing. And um, share a story with Confianza. I tried to share one a little bit this morning, or just right before. Um, <laughs> you know, Chaz. I tried to share a Confianza post right before this, and it was a bit rushed. But I tried to share a little bit of, I'm in need of Confianza. Things are a little bit crazy. But if you just post up a before and after picture or just post up greens and you don't even share what they do, they have no idea. And so we need to share what it does. And so that could have been a, like a hilarious, funny post is seeing my kitchen just totally trashed and I'm holding this bottle of Confianza going, I'm keeping my sanity and I'm not killing my kids, but my kitchen is absolutely trashed. And, and maybe sharing a story about how crazy life is. And so when you're sharing a story, people are drawn into who you are and they're living life with you. Oh, and she's talking about this confianza. Or at the end, it says, you could easily say, I had to write it down because I always don't say it correctly. Um, where did it go? So at the very end, say, if you want to know more about the supplement that I take that helps keep me sane, message me for more information. Or email me and I'll give you, um, I'll give you some links to some awesome supplements that are great for stress and anxiety. It's working great for me. Or message me and I can give you a list of some of my most popular products to help with stress and anxiety. So we're kind of using it as, as a blog and they're following the life of Marie or Taz or Tarita. And then you just throw it at the bottom. I've got something amazing that's for weight loss. If you've ever wondered, message me and I'll let you know. Let them come to you. And maybe we can try to use that a little bit more instead of message me. I mean, I'm guilty of that. I'm totally guilty of that. But number three, so we talked about the key to attraction marketing is being real and being yourself, give value, and in that give value, sharing stories. But number three is being genuine, genuinely wanting to help people. If we are using attraction marketing, we're using attraction marketing to gain sales? No. 
attraction marketing is to gain a larger audience. And we can only do that by being absolutely genuine of wanting to help people. And you have to genuinely be a good person to attract good people that are going to want to follow you. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be short-lived. Um, it's kind of crazy that sometimes we have to give up focusing so much on the sale and focusing on others, and it should just come even easier when we do that. So... Don't be salesy. People do not want to be sold to. How often do you walk into a store and someone's like, can I help you? No, thank you. I'm just browsing. But I'm really there to buy something. I really am. But I don't want to be bugged. So it has to be my idea. We need to be, so don't be salesy, but do be the consultant, the teacher, and let it be their decision. So how can we create ways to be the teacher and the consultant instead of the salesperson? Um, let's open up this as a little conversation. Is there ways that we maybe can use our before and afters, our system posts, our cleanse posts? Is there a way that we can let it be their idea and not be salesy. Let's just kind of throw some ideas out. Can you repeat the question, Colette? Yes. Um, I'm getting a text. Um, how can we use our, our It Works stock photos from the company, our before and afters, how can we use those to um, not be salesy, but to let it be their idea? So what are some scenarios on how we can share the before and afters without being super salesy? So I've done before and it seemed to work really well, but now I'm struggling to keep doing it because I need to become more creative. But I did a live video about asking people to help me out with my hair a little bit because I've got really flat hair. So I was like, help me, who knows some good product with volumizing hair. And so while I was doing the video, like showing people my hair, I was like talking about, people were talking about their hair falling out and stuff. And I'm like, well, I did find something that's really amazing, like the hair skin and nails that helped me with my bold patches after having kids. And look, it's grown out really well. And, but then I, went back to like talking about the products they were telling me about. And then after that, like that afternoon, I posted a photo of me holding the hair skin and nails. And I just said, because I've had so many questions about this. And then I posted a story about that. So like that was kind of came across like people were asking me about it rather than me trying to force them into it. Yeah. But now I'm just like trying to be creative and with other products. <laughs> right. So another idea, and I love that because I loved that idea of it. It's, it's, she was doing a live and lives capture more audience than, than just posts. So she was doing a live and asking for opinions on how to handle, you know, flat or thinning hair. And, and she was getting comments and, um, it was a way to share about the hair, skin, nails. Um, so many of us are always on a weight loss journey. And we are hit and miss. Maybe we're trying a, a bunch of different things, but we're learning things along the way. So an, an idea was starting to be a, for me, I'm a fitness fanatic in training because I'm not a pro at all, but I, I'm always interested in it. And so I know that I need to drink a lot of water. I know that I need to eat more greens. Um, and so we can be offering tips of weight loss and then we can say at the bottom, you know, say we can start being, um, that, that teacher or that consultant of weight loss, giving healthy tips all the time. And then out of the blue, one day you're like, oh my gosh, I'm always offering healthy tips, 
but look at what our amazing supplements did for her. And then you show photos or in the comments or message me if you want to see these crazy results. When I posted that about myself saying, you've got to see my amazing results. I'm so happy about them. It gave me more motivation. Who wants to see them? I had all these people private messaging me saying, me, me, me. And I'm like, this person's never even talked to me about this at ever, ever. And so if we can try to think of ways to, I would just, I keep talking about it like a blog post. If we can be more not intentional with a sale, but intentional with giving them tips, tricks, guidance, consulting them um, on what this can do for them, that when we talk about it, they're going to be open to listening a little bit more. Um, so the other thing is whether it's Instagram or Facebook, do not only be it works. We were someone before we started with it works. Who were we? What did we love? What did we do? And if, you know, life has gotten in the way, what did we used to love to do? Or what do we wish that we had time for? Um, another thing that I talk about is I love interior design. I love decorating. I'm terrible at it. I wish I was better at it, but that's a passion of mine. So I'm going to post about it because it's something that I love even though it's not something that I do. I still love it. Um, so who needs, do we have any questions, comments? I want to open this up so that we can help one another. Um, we've talked about making the wheel and spokes off of the wheel of what your interests are. And you could literally make 10 different posts off of each, off of each interest. But sometimes we just get so rushed with life that our posts get rushed. And so we're trying to avoid that. Um, uh, Megan asked, what were the three, three things that I listed? It was visual, voice, and value. Thank you. Yes. Um, Okay, so let's let's open it up. I want some question answers. Don't be shy. I just tried the um the facial at my beauty brunch, which I had a few ladies over, which was awesome. And I loved the facial, it was amazing. Um so I been doing a live video like kind of before and after pictures um which have gotten some interest but i'm still waiting to kind of get a little more interest before i say who wants to try it or a lot of the people that i'm with online are night owls and i work really early in the morning so i'm not always up as late as they are but i don't want to make it sound salesy but i also want to bring them in and have them try it um <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. and so th this whole thing, this isn't don't post about our business, don't post about our products. That's not what it is. The majority, we want the majority of our posts to be though something about us and then trickling in the it works stuff. Um, so I would say, Megan, um, especially if your friends are night owls, the facials are perfect for night owls because they wake up and their faces puffy and it looks like they were night owls <laughs> and so you can say something like i had just an amazing um facial girls night that i'm offering a free facial to anyone else who wants to do a facial to do a facial girls night um but you have to invite four friends they have to they have to show up um, and so if you're able to do that, then I would certainly do that and offer it for free. Or if you're not able to offer it for free, this is your business. Say, I'll give you half off or you get it for $10 or $15 or whatever you want to do. Um, you can, you know, offer it for something else. So I did get good response when I said, you know, 
bring a few friends. I know it's hard for a lot of people maybe to bring four people. So I said, bring two or three friends yeah. and you will get yours for free. Yeah. And then on top of that, I didn't, I didn't know how to also say, you know, the facials are $25 for yes. whoever else. Um, I wanted to say that in a not so. Yeah. Not and pay I would of. say they could, they can sample some of our, um, they can do a mini facial for free That's or they can do a full facial for 25. Okay. The mini facial is just the cleanser, the toner, the exfoliating peel. If you have that stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's what we did. Oh, good. Okay. Um, I want them to try the facials. They're I so No, It makes me want to do one tonight. I know. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I encourage all of you to go to Pinterest and make a, make a category just for branding. And you can hide it and make it private if you don't, you know, if you really want to just let loose and just say, this is what I love. But once you've added a bunch of things in there, step back and look at who are you? What do you love? What colors speak to you? What, what textures speak to you? And then from there, really think about who are you and what's your voice on social media? Um, like what, what honestly can you give back to the world and make the world a better place? What can you do? Um, I'm going to say for me, like it, I didn't know what it was for a while. It took me a while to figure it out. And because we came from, um, I mean, I've been a single mom, um, went through divorce, um, went through, it wasn't. It was almost physical abuse, not quite, but it was really close to physical abuse and verbal abuse, emotional abuse. Um, went through bankruptcy, repossession, losing our house. Um, went through husband out of work. I mean, just so many different things that for me, I am so passionate about wanting to help people feel like their dreams matter. That just because life has not been awesome up to this point doesn't mean that they have to just toss in their dreams that dreams are still possible and i feel like that's my voice i want to share hope with everybody um i but every single one of us is different and so what is your voice what is something that you want to start talking about can we have anyone i know taz already said self-care and callie shared hers and Leanne shared hers. Who else? I want, I want to hear from a few of you. Just of the things we wrote down, Colette? Yeah, like when you're thinking about this now, like what, what things on Facebook can you really be that, that mentor, that leader, that, that person that people are like, wow, I just love Samantha for this reason. Um, okay, so well, I thought of a couple of things while you're doing it. And when you kept saying blog, I do a lot of like, uh, do it yourself. Um, my gosh, I look homeless. I should have left my video off. Sorry. No. <laughs> anyway. Um, like a lot of like repainting or redoing things. So I was thinking of doing like, um, almost basically like how to post kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Like the fast forward videos, um, of that kind of stuff. And then like, just more things like activities to do with my kids for the summer. Um, Cause I know I used to like look at moms and be like, Oh, why is she doing those many crafts or something? So when I'm doing those things, I can be, you know, doing how to videos kind of, kind of how to videos for more craft stuff. That's I love doing crafts. Um, I want to do, like you said, more house uh, decorating stuff. I love doing that. I pretty much redecorate my house. Like, uh, once a week <laughs> so, <laughs> or like rearrange things. I just rearranged Jax's room and I'm completely in love with it. But, um, and then lately I've been struggling with modest clothing, like finding modest clothing. So I think I want to start talking about that. And then I just gained 10 pounds the last month. So I'm going to be going back over losing that. So I think I'm going to go with like a weight loss journey type thing on that. 
Is that enough? Do you want me to keep going? I, I, I love it. I love it. And, and this is coming from a place where I've seen several posts over and over again, where people are saying, what happened to Facebook? Why is it only about everyone's business? I don't want it to be all about someone's business. I want us to be someone that offers so much value that they still have to follow us, even though they know that we have a business. So who else wants to go, oh, Megan, you're passionate about health, healthy eating, cruelty-free options for health and beauty, cooking with kids, DIY beauty. Oh my gosh, you, that's amazing. Yes, so amplify that and be creative with it. Do videos with it, post about it. Like, that's amazing. I love all of that. Um, who else? Okay, so I like legit look very homeless right now and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think I, I'm actually redoing my office area. Oh, fun. So what I'm going to do, I was thinking about is that like decoration wise, we do, we do a lot of home projects here and my husband is one of my distributors on my team and he actually is working the business. So I'm thinking of maybe jumping on his page as well. And he does a lot of woodworking and things like that. And he made our pantry and is doing our kitchen island and my shelves eventually back there to get rid of the fact that I look like a hoarder right now. <laughs> I love it. But, so I'm thinking about doing that and incorporating him into it and using not just my Facebook, but his as well. Yeah. And that, when you use the two of you together, it shows for some reason when, when you show that your husband, your spouse, your, a man is doing this with you, all of a sudden it attracts new business just because most men are pretty skeptical. <laughs> and he honestly, he uses the shake. He uses Thermofit, the fat biters, the greens, the probiotic, anything I buy, he takes for me. That's He's great. down three pant sizes. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Um, is mm -hmm. there anyone else who wants to share what their voice is on Facebook, social media? Mary. Okay. Hey, everyone. It's me. Hi. Um, I pretty much have what everyone else said, but. Um, my kids, family, health, fitness, even though my health has been really bad, um, I need to get back on track with that. So, um, yeah, maybe doing some post or live videos on how to make healthy lunches or dinners or something. Um, down to earth, caring, loving, love beaches and DIY, adventures, new things. Um, I love being challenged. Um, a good mum, traveller, friendship, um, hope and food. I love that. And I know that I can see that when I'm on your page. So, so Mer, she's from, she's in New Zealand and you're constantly doing like boot camps and Zumba and exercise and, and, and I love that. So you're posting and I would say again, keep doing that, but amplify it a little bit more, but add your, um, your expertise with that and add tips for um, staying hydrated, tips for healthy snacks, tips for um, motivation when you just don't feel like exercising, or um, tips that you can do at home. Or So when you're starting to give tips, then people are coming to you for your expertise. And then included in your tips is take fat fighters after every heavy meal. Well, what is that? <laughs> You know, and, um, and it doesn't have to be in every post by any means, but it's, it, that can be one of your tips is, is having the fat fighters or the greens or our shake because, um, it's, it's healthy choices. Um, so how would I put that in a, would I put that in a post when I post a bootcamp picture? Cause I, I do realize that when I do post a picture, it's just like a picture of our group. Right. And I, and I see that it, that's all it is. So I do need to kind of um, add value and, and amplify that. So how would I add the greens or something in that? Do I need a whole, like, a bottle of green? Um, green I would, while I'm 
Yeah. So I would say, you know, some of the tips when it comes to exercising is to exercise with a group because you have accountability partners. You can't let them down. But the other part is sometimes my energy is low. So I drink my greens to help give me energy and that boosts my spirits and I'm, I'm exercising and I have a better workout or, um, you know, how many of you want to exercise, but you're always sick. The greens help me stay healthy so that I can continue to exercise and, and get to my workouts. But again, expand it so it's not just a two-sentence post, but it's, it's giving tips. Um, okay, so forgive me, hon. I need to know how you say your name. Jan Janika? Janeska. Janeka. I'm sorry. Um, so you want to do gardening, makeup, DIY for house, things like tables or decor. Your journey as an army wife being alone 95% of the time. Okay, I almost got a little teary because um, I have three brothers um, and brothers-in-law that are in the army. And knowing how hard it is to, um, to be an army wife, that is your story. That is your voice. And, um, and to share how you get through your day or how you organize your time or maybe some days aren't good. And it's okay to share, you know, today as an army wife and, and basically being a single mom was a little bit challenging. Um, and that's okay. That's not negativity. Um, so I want you guys to know that there's a difference. Um, but the gardening, gorgeous posts, I mean, that can be amazing to watch your garden grow. All of that stuff is amazing. Um, and she just said, don't cry. Um, it's army wives. I, I don't know how you guys do it. That's hard. How many kids do you have? Or do you have kids? No Can you kids? hear me? Okay. Yeah. I couldn't hear you, but um, no kids yet. All right. But you can hear me? I can now. Yes. Oh, okay. So, sorry. So, you could say my name, Janeska. Janeska. Mm hmm Okay. Janeska. Thank you. Um, okay. Anyone else? This is awesome. I kind of jumped on late. Um, I'm still, I guess, trying to hone what I am on social media, but I've had a lot of people say they like my positivity. They like um, interesting things I do, places I go. Um, I have really great views around my house, so I post a lot of beautiful pictures of Utah. <laughs> um, stuff like that. And then I've got, you know, things I throw in once in a while I'm performing and singing at something or um, stuff with kids or stuff with blended families um, or my husband's business of working on marriages and families. I'm kind of a hodgepodge of stuff <laughs> trying to figure out what. Um, and forgive me, let me just give something to Eric really fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, someone's texting me saying that they were at our door, and I'm like, uh. Uh -huh. Okay. So what we were talking about was who are you besides Facebook or besides It Works? And, and what do you have to give to your audience? What do you have to give um, when they look at Taz, Mer, Brittany, what, what are you? What do you have to offer as far as um, something that you're passionate about, expertise, something that you can teach about, tips and tricks? Um, what do you have? Like what... And maybe it's something that you used to love and, and you want to do more of it. And even if you can't right now, that's okay. Um, but for us to be able to start sharing our expertise kind of in a blog form um, as far as uh, top 10 ways to lose weight, top 10 ways to eat healthier, top 
top 10 ways to organize your kitchen. Um, um, you know, so Allison said, post more about self-love, self-care, self-development. Mm -hmm. It's so me. She loves empowering and inspiring others. I need to start working on creative ways to do it. You're capable of giving so much. I love that. And so for Allison, it could be sharing ways for that self-love, self-care, self-development and sharing, here's a great book that I'm reading or this post, um, this, this message on a YouTube that I was watching was so meaningful, but it can't be just two sentences. It re we really need to dive in more about how we're connecting with our audience more on, on who we are and then throwing in it works kind of in the background. Yeah, I feel like I dabble in so many things and I don't know how to hone into like what I can offer to people because I'll, yeah, I'll do the scenic pictures. I'll do adventures of what I'm doing, places I'm going. Um, you know, I have thousands of friends and when I post it works, I get like, couple of likes, you know, um, if I post a selfie out on a date with my husband, I'll get lots or something about, you know, it's our anniversary or something. I get lots of that, <clears throat> you know, and then there's random times where I perform at something random times where I'm at Zumba, random recipes. Like I'm kind of, I dabble in so many things. I'm not really like an expert in like certain things except maybe singing but i'm not doing that <laughs> very much so i don't know um does anyone have any suggestions like i want us to all participate i don't want it to just be me. any thoughts listening to daria Dara, did you pick your f oh my gosh you guys i'm wearing just robe because i'm freezing <laughs> anyways um I would say maybe pick a couple of your favorite things and focus on those, like your favorite things you like to do. So maybe like, even though you're not performing singing, maybe uh, like post just a video of you singing. I don't know how old your ki youngest kids are, but maybe singing to your kids and your nieces or nephews or something like, does that make sense? Or yeah, I, I get so jealous of all the people with little kids. My youngest is almost 10 and I can't get any of my, kids to take a picture it's like I have to force it or sneak it and some people find those funny like I'll try to capture my daughter you know just getting in the car and I do a snapchat filter and people will laugh at that like oh why is your daughter she's a youtuber why is she so scared to be on camera you know just I can't get any of my family to take a picture so I struggle with anything but pictures of my you know I pick I do selfies and people like those but it gets old <laughs> to me yeah I don't know yeah. Enjoy. Um, I, and I, I go along with that idea with Samantha is, um, and you'll want to go back and watch the rest of the, the meeting because we did talk about um, kind of being consistent with, with like figuring out who you are, making a list and thinking about, think about all the things that you're passionate about, but there's going to be just a couple things that you're, that speak resonate down to your soul like who you are and um and and it can be just family or it can be your relationship with your husband or traveling it, it can be those but how can you offer tips or suggestions or advice to your audience of how to have a great marriage or how to do how to have um blended families or how to um go travel and um, find good rates, like whatever it might be for you. Um, but it's, it's thinking about who you are so that people know when they come to your, your posts that they're looking for a certain thing, but it's not, it works. It's something else that they're, they're coming to you for. You're building that relationship, that brand, and then trickling in, it works throughout. Um, that's not saying you cannot, that's not saying you can't be bold. You can be very bold with it works. Sometimes you can just be like, guys, I have three spots left. That's fine. But we can't be doing that all the time. And that's where we're trying to find a balance of, I, I don't like seeing 
lipstick all over the place and leggings all over the place on Facebook. But I don't want them feeling the same way about it works either. And we can't prevent them from seeing that, but the, I can prevent them from seeing that with me. And I want to offer them so much more than just it works. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm one of my main things is being a mom and but yeah, I can't, I can't get the kids to take a single picture. So that's kind of out, but yeah, I like, I like posting about relationships, relationship skills and stuff that my husband does. Um, so, and, and people do like the scenery pictures, like beautiful pictures that I take around my neighborhood, the mountains, flowers and stuff like that. So that's what yeah, the most like. You don't take a picture. What? what? <laughs> they're going to be grounded if they don't take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I literally, ha I, I bribe them sometimes. I'm like, I'm not buying you this at the mall unless we take a picture together. <laughs> How old are your children? Um, they're 10, 12, 13, and 16. Maybe take something that they're interested in and bring that interest into, like, you know, yeah, I kind of sneak it. Like if I'm watching them play a sport, then yeah. I can sneak it, and they. But yeah, I've Something had. They're excited about. Yeah. And then jump in there. <laughs> Sometimes they're so mad, even if I post that. Why did you post that? Oh, I'm so embarrassed, you know. <laughs> it's like a terrible age. <laughs> um, I just quickly want to say something to it's not always a bad thing to have such a wide variety of stuff because I guess um it's important for people to see like your personality. So at the end of the day, like you want them to see the real you. And if singing is really important to you, but like you already picked three other things, it's like I'm trying for me, I'm trying to think of it like what season I'm in at the moment. So, I'm, so people who are in the same season of life will relate to me better because I've got toddlers who scream and cry and tantrum, but you've got like teenagers. And so if you focus on that season in life and so the three top things, because that season's going to change. And so it's going to change every three to six months, what you post about. And that's kind of a good thing because people will get bored otherwise, you know, yeah. like um, because like, people will change with you. Yeah. Like, my kids will be gone half the summer with their dad in Brazil, and that's always hard. And, you know, people missing their kids, they can relate to that. And so, yeah, I think, I think that's right. It does change according to what they're into that year. So, thanks. Yeah, and I think that's just what Taz said. Um, a lot of this, and I don't want us to be overwhelmed, this isn't stop posting about other things that you love. This was are there a couple things that you can share tips that you can share your expertise with right now? And maybe that'll change. Maybe I will become a fitness fanatic pro instead of a beginner and I'll start sharing something else, but we need to be able to have something that we can share with them and don't forget about who we are and posting the other stuff. That's fine. Um, okay. So on Facebook, you can be posting about every couple of hours, and that's fine. Um, of course, seeing a huge range of different things throughout the day. Maybe it's inspirational. Maybe it's um, you're going out with your spouse. Maybe it's it works something. Maybe it's a DIY or makeup or whatever. That's great. On Instagram, you can be a lot faster. You don't have to worry about every two hours there necessarily. And you can post about it works a little bit in a different way, a little bit more salesy, a little bit more um, looking for models, before and afters, look how awesome this is, I'm looking for a few people. Um, but what I would like to see is after you post it and follow up with everybody, go back and delete it so it doesn't show all of your before and afters, all of your product posts. Um, okay, Taz, see you later. Um, but so you can delete those old um, product post so it doesn't show it all in your feed if that makes sense um, and that's going to be a different a different meeting when we're talking about um, Instagram and how you can post about before and afters and following up things like that but has this been helpful has this branding and attraction marketing been helpful for you guys I know a few people hopped on late so you probably didn't hear the whole thing but certainly go back and listen to all of it um, but for those of you who were here, um, oh good, I'm glad it was helpful. I'm glad. 
Um, I know we got started a little late, so we're probably within an hour, but I'm going to get this up on the recording and post it in Dare to Dream. Um, and then you can watch it later if you want. Um, is there anything else before we turn off? Thank you. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night.